Hello friends, welcome to the VLC design course. So in today's session, we are going to write a VHDL code for 4-bit AOLU and its realization on the FPJ development board. So before starting writing a VHDL code, first of all, we have to understand its logical functions then uh, it's uh, boolean expressions then we are going to create a, a vhdl xilinx um, uh, isc project where we are going to write a 4 bit alu code in using a vhdl then we are going to do the simulation then synthesis creating a ucf file generate a bit file and that bit file you are going to implement on the development board so let's start so th this this is a 4 bit alu uh, design i have taken so in this in this we have a 4 bit input 4 bit out uh, so so we have two 4 bit input a is a 4 bit b also a 4 bit and uh, alu out is also a 4 bit so and these are the various combinations or operations we are going to do using alu so we have taken uh, eight different combinations so for that we need a select line so again select line is again a 3 bit input so totally we have three inputs and one output so out of this three input input a b are a four bit and select line as a three bit so how it how it works when select line is zero zero we are going to do the operation of a plus b we are going to do the operation of a plus b and that is going to the output a l u out when select line is zero zero one what we are doing we are doing a minus b a minus b then when select line is equal to 0 1 0 we are doing a and b then if it is a 0 1 1 a and b 1 0 0 then a x or b 1 0 1 a x nor b when it is 1 1 0 a or b and finally if it is a 1 1 1 we are passing whatever input of a bit uh, a 4 bit we are passing to the output a out so for this function for this function now we are going to write a vhdl vhdl code okay so let's let's begin to write a vhdl code so open the isc create a new project file new project so we are going to write a l u 4 bit okay so i am creating a project a l u 4 bit next so these these parameters are exactly same because it is already one time we have saved so for our family is spartan 3a xc 3 s 50 a tq 144 next finish now we have to add a new source so vhdl module vhdl module a l u underscore 4 underscore bit okay so we are going to write a vhdl code for 4 bit alu so as i said as i said how many inputs we have we have input a b which are 4 bit so let us declare it a comma b r of type in bus and total 4 bits means 3 down to zero then we have another input select line that is also an in with a bus of three bits so it is a two down to zero and we have output alu underscore out this is the output and the bus width is three down to zero so that is a four bit okay so this much declarations we have to do so let's reconfirm a four bit b four bit select line three bit alu out 4 bit alu out alu out 4 bit so let's generate a entity so here we are going to use some some additional features like addition subtraction so we need to add a library called unsigned so let's add it okay done now your entity is also already declared so library declaration and then entity port a comma b in 4 bit select line input 3 bit alu out 4 bit now here we have to write a program so we are going to use we are going to use a we are going to use a, a with select with select uh, statement to write a, to write a alu program okay so let's begin let's begin so i am going to write with s e l 
see like this is a concurrent statement right everyone knows that we have already seen this uh, statement syntax and usage so with SEL select now output is alu underscore out is equal to the first condition is a plus b so a plus b when when this select line is equal to when it is 0 0 0 right then we have to know other conditions also we need to write when it is 0 0 1 what is the condition a minus b and then when it is 0 1 0 it is a and b 0 1 0 it is a and b when it is uh, 0 1 1 when it is 0 when it is an and x or x nor then i am writing here a and b then it is when it is 1 0 0 it is for 4 it is uh, xor xor yes then for 1 0 1 it is xnor xnor right when it is a 6 it is a or b a or b right and it is a finally when it is then others clause so here we are terminating when others so that means when it is a 1 1 1 we are going to write a right so this 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 completes our program this completes our program so we have to check for the syntax let us check the syntax if any by mistakely we have done any mistake then it will indicate through an error <coughs> okay then do the synthesis so let's see the synthesis alu 4 bit so it, it is implemented if you see here adder subtractor then multiplexer for selection and here it is implemented using xor and other functionality and gate everything it is implemented right so let us let us let us see the simulation fastly and then we will go for generating a bit file so simulate it so let's start so i am giving a value some random value let us say uh, 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 1010 sorry 1010 binary apply okay b let us take example b is uh, uh, 0 1 0 1 okay 5 then select line let us start with the initial so it is 0 0 0 apply okay and run it okay now if you can see here so a plus b okay so 10 plus 5 becomes 15 10 plus 5 becomes 15 if you can see here so the first operation alu operation is when select line is 0 0 0 it performs a plus b now if select line is 0 0 1 it should perform it should perform 0 0 1 it should perform a minus b so 10 minus 5 again it should come 5 so our result should be 5 got it got it now if select line is 0 1 0 okay 0 1 0 okay so it should perform an and operation so it should perform and operation but if you see the and operation so zero it is a bitwise a bitwise operation so zero in and one it is zero zero one zero one zero again zero and zero one again zero so this is and operation now let us see the for and operation so zero one one if straight line is zero one one what is the operation as per the select line is 0 1 1 we have written a code for NAND so let's simulate it so NAND is invert of and so whatever here we are getting 0 0 0 it will uh, invert so all are ones 
now when it is 100 when it is a fourth condition if select line is 100 what is the operation we have written we have written for 100 it is a a x or b so let's let's do it so a x or b a x or b also exactly same because 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 0 1 1 1 0 1 so let us change some a value and again run it so force constant so 1 1 0 0 okay okay run it now check it now x wiring is changed so 0 0 1 0 x or 1 it is 1 0 x or 0 is 0 1 x or 1 is 0 and 1 x or 0 is 1 so like that like that we can verify the simulation like that we can verify the simulation so let us let us go ahead with uh, writing or generating a ucf file so for that for that what you have to do why we need a ucf file now to implement this program onto fpj we need a pin connection yes so for that pin connection so we need a ucf generation so let's generate it right click new source then you have to select implement constant file and this is alu dot ucf okay so i am going to write a ucf file next finish okay so here ucf file is generated so uh, i will use some already written to shorten our time okay so for that go back now now what we are going to use we are going to use this these three switches as a select line so for that select two is a pin pin location is p8 select one is p3 and select zero is p5 so just modify it so select two is p8 yes select two is p8 select of one is p3 and select of zero is p5 it is already there okay now for the for the inputs uh, uh, 4 bit b input and 4 bit a input we are going to use this j14 header so a of a of 0 is connected to p15 or or we can say the first four switches are used for 4 bit b input and next 4 bit uh, four switches are used as a 4 bit a input so here 4 bit a so th sorry b input and here is a, a input so for that b of 3 is equal to p31 that is the first switch so first switch represent the msb of b and the fourth switch represent the lsb of the b input similarly this fifth switch will represent as a msb of a and the last switch as a lsb of b so let's let's do it so b of 3 is equal to p31 so b of 3 already it is p31 b of 2 is p32 b of 1 is p28 b of 0 is p30 b of 0 is p30 correct then a of 3 we have to assign p21 a of 3 p27 sorry p27 then p29 p24 p25 all right all right now then the ale output we are going to connect to the this led output and that is connected to this p4 port so for ale out of 3 so that is msb out is 141 so ale of 3 msb is 141 so i am modifying here 141 then second b is 143 i guess yes 143 138 139 then 138 then 139 right so this creates our ucf file now we are ready with the ucf file save it and let's generate a programming file okay so once the programming file is ready then we are going to open a fpj programmer and using fpj programmer we are going to write a implement a uh, write a uh, bit file onto fpj and we'll check the alu functionality okay so let's wait for some time it is generating yes almost it generated a bit file then meanwhile time i'll just open the programmer so this is the programmer we are using usually to write a fpj so for that usually it will show us the uh, the uh, fpj board family it is xc 3 series and you have to select a com port so i am using com 4 because the usb port i connected to the fpj is a com 4 
now once this bit file is generated through this open file we are going to open the bit file so open file so wherever we have written a code so we have created a new project that is ALU 4 bit and you can see here ALU 4 bit bit file is generated we have to say open and let's say program so my FPGA started programming so now we will move to the FPGA board so yes now if you if you can observe here if you can observe here the FPGA is program and the LED is blinking over here LED is blinking over here blue LED now we have to see the connections for the connections we have used this P6 uh, sorry uh, P2 header P2 header for this select line so that I have to connect to the J3 header J3 header once again I will confirm okay so now our program is ready we have loaded ALU uh, functionality into this FPJ so how we are going to test it so these are the select lines select line of 3 2 1 sorry uh, sorry 2 1 0 so 3 bit select line so this first switch will act as a MSB of B input so B first four switches for the B input and second remaining four switches for the A input and this first four LEDs indicates the ALU output okay so let us make it so if I make it A is 1 B is 1 so for 0 0 it should add so why it is not adding maybe wet so this is J3 J3 so let me verify it once again 